Hi, this is Stasha, and I'm here to record my floss tube. And it's been a while since I've recorded a floss tube, so lots of things have happened, and then there's also been nothing happened. It's been July. July is too hot to stitch. It's, we're lucky in that it's been cooler this year. We've only had five to ten days over 100 degrees, but it's a dry heat. And I didn't realize what a difference dry heat meant meant until I went and visited Terry in Texas and I got off the plane it's like oh my gosh I cannot breathe there is no air here well there's air here but it's full of water and it's like trying to breathe underwater it's not fun but I had a lot of fun with Terry she we found some places that were some pokey stops and she gave me a gift this has a magnet on the back so this is now a needle and pin cushion so that you just drop your needle and it stays put. And she also gave me some of the DMC variegateds that were limited. So anyway, um, one of the things with the heat is I find I don't stitch as much. So the entire month of July I only stitched 8.25 hours. And the things I worked on were fruit bell pull. This is my case for fruit bell pull. It's just a legal file case I got from Office Max. And this is Fruit Bell Pull. This is where I'm at. And before, before I started it, I didn't have as much done on the border. And I'm outlining, I'm doing the back stitching on the plum block now. The next block is the pears, and then the cherries, and then we're done. So this is definitely on my year of whips. Thank you, Melanie, for, for doing the Year of Whips. Um, I'm kind of I was kind of already doing my own Year of Whips because I'm trying to cut down my list. and I keep saying I'm not going to start any new projects until I finish two projects. It hasn't quite been working out, but hey, it's getting better. The other thing I worked on was Something Wicked. And here's the progress on Something Wicked. So you can see we have the outline of the shoe, and I have been using fibers to die for, fibers to die for, and the border is deadly, the wording is Sergeant Gray, the boot is evil, and you'll notice there's not very much evil left, there's not enough evil for the witch's shoe. So I was trying to figure out, what do I do, what do I do? And I found that I have Burglar, and I have two skeins of Burglar, and Burglar is kind of close to Evil. It's a little more purple than Evil is. So if I mix one strand of Evil with one strand of Burglar, I found I can't really tell. It looks the same. We'll see what it is when I get up, up close to the full section, but so we're just going to use Evil Burglar. Evil Burglar is the color for the shoe. What little I have left of Black Cat is for the spiders. And I've got some more Burglar. Okay, that's all I have on the fiber supply for on the shoe. And I may actually get this finished before the start of the Year of Whips challenge. In which case, I'll find something else. Not like I don't have a large list to pick from. I do not have as large a list as other people, but that's because I did, that that's because Terry and I did a 100 project challenge. And if you go through 100 projects, if you finish 100 projects before you start anything new, you get a lot done. So this is my favorite project bag. I got this at Big Lots for $2.99. I bought all they had at the time, which was five. I've never been able to find them since. And yes, I know other people have similar bags, but they charge like $10 a piece for them. No. $2.99. Yeah, I'm cheap. So, one of the other things that happened in July was we had a perforated paper class for ornaments at EGA. And 
to just as much as I got done. So, but we have another EGA meeting next week and I'll probably finish it then. Because August EGA is bring a whip and we'll work on the whips. So the other thing I, okay, yeah, I just dropped that on the floor. So the other thing I did do, the other thing I got done in July was the t-shirt quilt. No, I didn't finish the t-shirt quilt. I went to the class and I have my pieces for my daughter's quilt. I have one t-shirt I still need to cut up. Here's one of the fun blocks that all of the blocks have been, all but two of the blocks have been cut and are in pieces. And I have my design, which is not up here right now. And the design's all laid out. I have the fabrics to put it in. Um, you'll notice there's some animal print fabrics back there. They'll make it used. Um, but I did finish the mystery quilt. So, I also took it down and had it quilted. I did not go with the original blue border I was going to use. I ended up with a green border because this quilt was supposed to be in reds, blues, and golds. But when I was looking at the border, the blue just didn't work. And, my, and light came in and said, Mom, that's a Christmas quilt. Why are you looking at anything but Christmas colors for the border? So I ended up doing a dark green holly border for the stop, another green for the uh, for the outer border. I'm going to bind it in red. The backing is holly and snowflakes. But uh, it's not all the way finished. I'll try and insert another picture of it. Um, tide pulls is the other piece I've been working on, and I'll include a picture of it as well. And Autumn Queen. The Olympics have been great. I have stitched more during the Olympics than I did the entire month of July. So that's where I'm at there. So. I picked up a Minions quilt kit when I was picking up the quilt. My husband really likes Minions, and this will maybe become a Christmas present. This Christmas, next Christmas, five Christmases from now, we'll see. I mean, the uh, quilt that I just had quilted down at Quilts Etc. Um, I think I got that in 2003, was it 2005? Anyway, I finished one, and I never quite got around to finishing the other. But, my month of July purchase is the Halloween Ornament Edition. Now, the way I go through magazines when I get them is the first thing I do is I run through it really quick and see if there's anything that catches my eye. And it's been really nice of just cross-stitch. So they now print all the designs at the back. So I don't have to flip through, I can just look at the back and say, oh cool, that, I like that one. And they tell you what page to flip to. And it helps to have your glasses on. So we have the key, which really jumped out at me. And I probably have fabric already in the stash that'll do that. And then there's, so anyway, first time through, you just flip through and see what really jumps out at you. And then the second time you, you go through, you look at all the pages, all the advertisements. You don't read the articles, you just look through them. But you look for shops you know and things like that. And then the third time is when you actually read it and pick out what you want to do. The ink circles. I saw that on the second time through. It's like, oh, hey, that's a Tracy Horner. That's a Tracy Horner design. I know that. That's definitely Tracy. So 
So you get to the point where you recognize the binders. So um, I should have marked the pages of this one show. But I'm still kind of flipping through it, so that one's kind of cool. Kind of go with the Halloween, the, the Halloween Village one that I did a couple years ago. Sugar Skull, Sugar Skull reminds me of Sue's, but yeah, not me. There's one in here that, okay, I love, I showed you this one, love that one. And the key turns only one lock. The key the crow brought turns only one lock. It's on the cemetery. So that turned out, the designer on that is um, Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish. Never heard of Stitchy Fish before. So I thought, hmm, maybe I ought to go look at some of their other designs. Since it's Stitchy Fish. Sounds kind of cool. And then I'm still flipping through. And the night music with the cat looks kind of cute. And of course there's some ornaments that are kind of fun. And then I saw this. This is skeleton key. This is also Stitchy Fish. Same person. I think I like this Lee Fisher person. So the fun thing is, is this is all the stitching and these are keys. So I asked my husband, hey, when you're out doing garage sale and stuff, would you mind looking for keys for me? He says, oh, just go eBay. So my package came from eBay. And shh, don't tell anybody. I need to use my quilt roll to open it. Because it's really sharp. No, I'm pulling it right out. But you shouldn't do that with your fabric, with your fabric cutting item. So, for 99 cents, I got a bunch of keys. They're all little keys. I don't have any big keys. But... That's kind of cute. So, hmm. I bet I've got fabric. I bet I've got fabric. See, Abby, you've started bad things. did it on a gray. Um, oh, they used storm, but they used storm linen on hand dyed fabrics in Stephanie. However, I'm not that patient to order something. So let's see what have we got. Okay, I need eight and a half by four piece. It's a design size on 30 count. So, the iris, iris should be pretty. The silk leaves with the shell. Um, I have no idea what color that is. Sapphire sky, it works. That's a lot more purple than it looks in the thing. So. Um, where did I pick up pink? Uh, shades. Light. You know, I have I have more fabric. Thank you. 
Even a 30 count. Okay. Let's go through the parchment. No, that's not even all my fabric. That's just the stuff that's organized. That's it. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's the stuff that's mostly organized. So, we have a parchment linen. We have brass keys. What do we do with big keys? What do we do with big keys? So it's a Halloween piece, so we probably want to use fibers to buy it for. Fibers to buy for. We could make it a gold key. Throw the mid midnight pen as a blue. Vertigo is a bright vertigo is a bright purple. Ooh, weapon kind of looks like an old key, but nothing will stand out as much on the. I really don't think it'll stand out on that, on the parchment. The peach, same problem. Ooh, the Miss Scarlet. A red skeleton key. That's starting to sound good. Okay. Pink Panther. Poison berry is not bad. Potion item. I don't think green will work. Okay. That's called old lace. And they have another color fiber called arsenic. So we have arsenic and old lace. Fugitive's a green, but I'm just really not seeing it in green. So. Now we have the floss toss. Yes, I know, Adele, the floss toss. So we have red. So we have Miss Scarlet or Weapon. So Miss Scarlet or Weapon. And I'll view the video later and see which one I like better. So we have keys. We have fibers. Yes, this is my collection of needle minders. Not as impressive as a lot of them. Because let's face it, these are what my needle minders look like most of them. So. It's a big magnet and a little magnet. So, needle minder attached to fabric. We'll just use a little flower. And yes, I'm going to have an illegal start, because I think that'll stitch up really quick, and something like it's almost finished, and it's my travel piece. So, as Abby says, always bring cross-stitch. I need another purse piece. And that, so skeleton key is going to become a purse piece. And that, I think, is where we're at. Oh, so when I looked through the ads in, in 
to just cross stitch. There is a frosted pumpkin ad for the mysterious Halloween town. And it calls for silky 12 weight cotton. And I was wondering, is that kind of the same as pearl cotton? The one thing I did know, I really noticed in just cross stitch this time, not one of these has an anchor conversion. They're either DMC and Sullivan or DMC and Presentia. An anchor is totally left out. Okay, first off, I like anchor better than DMC. Have ever since the 1993 color change that ruined my Teresa Lent for sampler because 930 was no longer the same color between dye lots. Um, and I realized they had to do it for ecological reasons, but still. You know, it would be nice to have a warning before I had to switch colors. But there's just cross stitch on, on stock and Sullivan's or something because they are really, really pushing them. I mean, practically all of these patterns, the conversion is Sullivan's. And I have never stitched with Sullivan's. I do have um, a project that is kitted kid up to start with Sullivan's floss but never actually used it, so I'm not sure if I want it. I'm not sure if I like it or not. So, anyway, um, that's it for today. Obviously not as organized, but then I have been putting off making this video for three weeks, and tonight it was just like, I'm not into track and field, so I'm not in the mood to stitch downstairs. Um, no Pokemon in the neighborhood. Already had my walk, hit my 10,000 steps. Yes, I still have three kilometers to go to hatch my 10 kilometer egg, but uh, yeah, not gonna happen tonight. And that's kind of where I'm at. So I figured, you know, I've been putting off making the floss tube. Let's go make the floss tube. So sorry that I'm not as organized. Actually, why am I apologizing? This is me making a video. <laughs> so um, yeah, just not as organized today as I usually am, but. I didn't stitch last month, and still working on stories. I did finish one of the stories on tide pools. The story, the story that I had with uh, Fruit Bell Pole was the borders, which I completed two of the border stories. The next story is complete the back stitching of the plum block. I completed the story for all of the, the cross stitches in the plum block, so we're good there. Completed three stories in Fruit Bell Pole. Um, tide pools. I worked on that for the Olympics, and I've completed the, uh, almost completed the block two story on that one. And then as soon as I finish that, it will be moving on to the block three. And then I have blocks one, block two, block three, and block four, and then the border, and then that one will be done. Which will pro it'll probably end up being my first one done in the year of blips, which has been a lot of fun. I'm glad Melanie started that, and I'm looking forward to it. So, and I think I'm going to have another start since I've got everything pulled now for the Halloween one. And you'll notice patterns just the place to start. You know, it's, yeah, it's a design. It's somebody's design. Somebody's design that I kind of like, but by the time it gets finished, it'll be my design. Always a tribute, though, or else you're breaking copyright. That's what adaptation is about. Adaptation is taking a design and making it personalized. But always credit the original designer. So that's where I'm at right now and talk to you again soon.